So in this video, I want to give you a great example of how I think we can get stuck in our heads and what the power of a good prototype is. So here's the story. Imagine that your cable company asks, asks you or requires you to change some settings on your television to keep it working. Now, they, uh, this cable company um, has done a lot of work. They've created great instructions, step-by-step -step guides on how you actually need to change stuff. Um, you just need to go through the settings. All good, right? And this cable company even um, does a user test to see if people are actually able to follow up on these instructions. Perfect, would you say, right? So I am um, in this user test, um, the first step that people are required to do is to figure out which uh, TV model they have in order to find the correct instructions. And this cable company has made all the instructions for almost every TV model out there. What do you think happens? What do you think happens? Where do you look up your uh, model number of your TV? That's probably somewhere on the back of your TV. So. The first step in the instructions already posed a challenge that most people weren't able to overcome. So the rest of the instructions weren't even uh, relevant. Now, by doing this user test, um, they came up with a really smart, simple and easy solution. Because what's the way most people would recognize which TV they have? Not by the model number. Maybe you know the model number, maybe I know the model number, but most people don't actually know the model of the number of their TV. What do they do? They look simply at the menu structure, how it looks visually, which icons are there, how big is everything. So based on this user test, uh, they created a prototype where they just uh, had screenshots of the different TV menu systems and they let people select their TV based on that. And that's actually possible. And by doing this test, they made sure that before sending this out to their entire customer base, they now had actually something that worked. Imagine that they send out the, uh, the version where people would have to look up their model number. How many calls do you think their um, help center would get? That would be insane. The cost of that would be incredible. So. Uh, yeah, just by prototyping, just by actually being there, user testing, um, they were able to prevent a pretty expensive, what could have been a pretty expensive mistake. So I really like this story because it shows how getting out of our heads and thinking what is right and getting into our hands and actually seeing things, feeling things, experiencing things is so much more powerful. So prototyping, uh, I think it was uh, Adam Lawrence who said on the service design show, if you do two things in service design, the research and do prototyping, I totally agree with that. Now, I think prototyping is one of the four key techniques everybody should master who is interested in service design. In this video, I explain what the other three are. So if you're interested in the four service design techniques everyone needs to master, click this video and let's continue the conversation over there. See ya.